In this video, we're diving into one of the most crucial concepts in finance, the weighted average cost of capital or WAC. Whether you're analyzing an entire business or evaluating an investment, understanding the weighted average cost of capital can make or break your decisions. I'll walk you through what WAC is, why it's important, and how to calculate it. Then we'll jump into an Excel example to make it crystal clear. Before we open Excel and see how to calculate this uh, practically, let's take a look at what is uh, the weighted average cost of capital. Essentially, it reflects uh, the entire cost of capital from all sources combined for a company. And uh, we are weighting uh, the sources of capital by their proportion in the total capital structures. In most cases, it includes debt and uh, equity financing. And uh, this is uh, this chart here. So we have... Uh, Two components cost of equity and debt cost and uh, for equity we have the risk premium the beta and the risk-free rate and then we have the average debt yield and uh, the tax shield for uh, the debt component this gets us the cost of equity and the debt cost and uh, we go to the weighted average cost of capital what do we use uh, WAC uh, for most often you see that as a discount rate in various uh, financial models we also use it as a hurdle rate when we're analyzing potential investments where we can uh, calculate the internal rate of return for an investment and uh, see if it's above our uh, weighted average cost of capital essentially if the cost of capital to make the investment is higher than the return of the investment then it's not a good investment for us and it's also uh, used as a as a tool uh, when we are trying to decide the mix of uh, debt and equity for our company's capital structure it's important because it represents the minimum return that uh, that we must generate in order to actually be uh, on the positive side for investors and creditors. So this is what I just mentioned. So our return on any investment that we make must be uh, above our weighted average cost of capital for the business to make sense. We can also use uh, WAC as a benchmark to evaluate investment projects, mergers and acquisitions. And essentially, the lower our WAC is, the easier it is to uh, fund investments because it means that uh, the cash that we'll use to fund an investment will be cheaper for the company. Here's the uh, formula. This is the general formula. So uh, it's uh, the sum for uh, all capital components we are getting their rate of return for each component, multiply it by the market value of this component and prorate it over the sum of all market values for all components. And uh, this is the simplified view that uh, we took a look at the chart that we saw uh, visualized above. Here we have the market value of equity over the total market value of equity and debt multiplied by the required rate of return on equity plus debt over the total uh, market value of all components multiplied by the cost of debt multiplied by one minus uh, the tax rate so applying the tax shield here and whenever we are calculating WAC for especially for financial modeling purposes we usually use this uh, simplified formula sometimes we may go this way with the risk premium the better the risk-free rate and this is essentially the capital asset pricing model and if you want to go into more detail on how to calculate it that way which requires uh, more sophisticated calculations and much more knowledge uh, of the business and the different rates that apply to the industry i'm going to link an article in the description down below that uh, explains the capital asset pricing model in detail now let's uh, open excel and uh, look at how we calculate this thing so i have this structure just to uh, keep everything faster let's say we need uh, 1 million and uh, 200 000 us to fund a project a company or whatever and we're planning to do that by issuing shares and issuing bonds so this is our equity component and this is our debt component we're going to issue 7,500 shares at 90 uh, US dollars per share, which is 675,000 for the monetary value. Then the number of bonds, say 1050 at uh, 500 each. And this is going to be 
525 for a total of 1.2 million. Our expected return here is 6.5%. So what this means is that the people that are investing expect to get this return at 6.5%. And uh, this is something where we can employ the capital asset pricing model to get to this. For our bonds, for our debt, we want 7.2%, which is effectively the interest rate. And uh, our tax bracket, we fall into 17% uh, of tax. So now we need to start calculating our elements. Our equity market value will be this here, our debt will be this here. This is, of course, the total of the two. The required rate of return for equity is here. Format that as a percentage. And uh, the required return for uh, debt is here. And uh, this is one minus the tax percentage here. This is my tax shield. Then I can start calculating uh, WAC. So we have the formula down here for reference. So we have equity actually gonna put that in brackets so we have equity over the total of uh, equity plus debt multiplied by the required rate of return for equity plus half the debt over this multiplied by the required rate of return for debt and multiplied by our tax shield and i'm not doing one minus because we already did that in here okay enter and we have uh 6.3% as our weighted average cost of capital. This is the blended cost of our capital if we fund it that way. So the next step would be to see what this uh, capital is going to go towards. And let's say we invest in this and uh, then sell it for 10% more. So our return on investment would be 10% which is above our weighted average cost of capital. And this would mean that this investment makes sense from a financial standpoint. By the way, if you found this uh, video helpful, it would mean the world if you give it a like and uh, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos. And if you want to learn more about financial modeling, I have prepared an entire five hour course that's completely free here on YouTube. And it will take you from an empty Excel spreadsheet all the way to a fully dynamic assumptions driven financial model that you can use for any business. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in this video.